When you open any website and scroll from top to bottom, you will notice three main things. Every website consists on different sections. This page has header section, hero section, feed and performance section, contact section, pricing section, FAQ, footer section. And the second thing you will notice, all the content are bound to the center. You will see gap between the content and left right edges of the website. Third thing you will notice, some sections will consist on column and rows and some will not. For example, this section is no column and if you will look at this one, it consists on two column. Let me go down, this footer section consists on two rows and the first row also consists on four columns. Now let's move to the builder. In bricks, here are four elements to create a layout. Section, container, block and due. To create a section, you can click on a section. You can add a container inside it to keep the content in a center and away from the left and right edges. Black is used to create columns and rows. To create two column layout, add two blocks. If you want more columns, you can add third block. If you need a row instead of column, click on container and change the direction from column to row. Now you can see a column is converted to row. Now let's talk about div element. You can use it for a lot of things. You can create a divider from it. We drag it here. Now select it and change its background color. Also change its width and height. Also add some margin. Now you can see we have created this beautiful divider. We can use it to organize things. For example, I want to create side by side two buttons. Drag the due element here. Then put the button inside it. Just right click and duplicate it. You can add some margin here. Now you can see we have created side by side two button. You can use it to easily control the size of multiple element at one time and also position it easily. Let me show. Let's add div element here. Now add all these four elements inside it. After adding all elements inside it, you will be able to easily control its size and position. If I will change the width, the size of the text will also decrease with the div size. Let me type here 50%. Now you can see we can easily control the size of text with div element. Now let me show how easily we can change its position. Also, you can change it to center, left, and right easily from here. To wrap up the video, we use section to stack page content vertically on top of each other. We use container for two things to set a maximum boundary for our content and to keep our content organized in the center. We use black element to create columns and rows. Div element is not just for creating a divider and organizing thing. That was just a tip. Later in the course, you will see its full power and versatility. We will create a beautiful tables, list items, and good looking buttons and other semantic HTML elements without any code. That's it for today. See you in the next video.